Okay, we're here together in the time of virus. Anybody feeling freaked out out there? Like me and everyone else? Don't worry, you're not alone. And I mean you're not alone, not only for what I have to offer you in this series that's free on YouTube, but for all the other resources that are out there to give you ideas right now. Now, my message is simple. I'm an organic farmer and an environmental engineer. My name is Im. Im Simple is kind of a pen name for me. But what I'm offering here is a, a series to help you out if you want to do what my message is, and that is grow your own food. Okay. Now, growing your own food is something I've been saying all my life, and I'm, I'm continuing the message. It's even more important than it normally is because, well, we're in this sort of, of a situation. So what you're going to see here is little tips and little ideas that I want to give to you, uh, hopefully to motivate you. Now, this is not a time to be passive. It's not a time to sit on your butts and to wring your hands and to worry about what to do. It's a time to get off your butts and to get something done with these. Learn what these are for if you are not in the process of doing so already. And if you are, uh, I'm not picking on you here. I am just uh, delivering a message as quickly as I know how to. Now, a little bit about me. We'll get the formalities out of the way. My name is Im, like I had mentioned before, environmental engineer. I'm an organic farmer, been doing that most of my life. I teach also biodynamics, how to build earth ovens or clay ovens, even how to build uh, djembes, uh, uh, drums, and other related courses that are on the way if they're not already online. Now, uh, you can buy one of my courses. My school name is Simple Life, and I exist on a few platforms out there. Now, to be fair to them, I'm not going to tell you which platforms you have to find out. The farming course is Bio Organic Farming and Gardening is the name of the course. But let me tell you this. You don't have to buy anything, folks. There's lots of free videos all over YouTube. And if you look long and hard enough, you can find out everything that you need to find to do your own farming. If you are not experienced at doing this and you feel a little bit unsure of yourself, okay? If you want detailed step-by-step, -step, you might want to go online and get a farming course. It doesn't have to be mine again. But anyway, that's the, that's the title of mine, Bioorganic Farming and Gardening. And these things are not expensive. We're not here to get your money, especially right now. This is not my intention. These are very affordable courses. But if you need to do this kind of thing, if you feel the motivation to grow your own food, which to me makes only good sense right now, then please uh, go forward with this idea. Okay, so that's out of the way. Uh, the first tip I want to give you, if you want to uh, uh, grow your own food, which I heavily recommend at all times, is if you are living in a house and you've got a front yard, a backyard, tear it up. You got grass growing, get rid of it. I don't care what the ordinances say right now. Everything's being thrown out the window. Grow vegetables. Look, this virus is not attracted to vegetables. Don't listen to anything you might have heard. It's all fine. Find the best seeds you can find. And what's the way to do that? You can't go out and even trust seeds in packets anymore. What you want to do, this is my first tip for what to plant. Go for pumpkin, every kind of variety of pumpkin, okay? Yanks, squash, okay? Squash. Every kind of squash, every kind of pumpkin you can find. That's the best way I can start us out on, okay? Go to the store. If There are these big, flat winter squash, these big, heavy things that look like medieval weapons. You can buy those right away, cut into those, and get the seeds, wash them out, dry them out in the sun when they're nice and dry, Go out like Johnny Appleseed, if you know that story, and plant those everywhere you can find to plant. If it's your own yard and you've got grass growing, listen, grass is not your friend right now. Grass doesn't do anything. It steals your water. It wants to kill everything in its path. Uh, tear it all up. This is, you know, hey, drastic times, drastic measures, all right? Um, on the fringes of your yard especially, any kind of bare soil you can find, uh, you know, get that soil enriched 
by whatever you've got, whatever kind of biomass, soil mass you've got. If you've got animal manure, if you've got uh, access to that, great, use it. Not dogs, not cats, but just about anything else, even our own night soil, if you want to say that, uh, you can use, but you've got to go ahead and compost it with grasses, get that good and mixed up, enrich your soil, get that all under the soil, then you want to plant your, your squash, your pumpkin about that far deep, maybe mound up a little hill, poke a hole down in there, put your seeds down there and keep going right on along and plant as many of these as you can. Now, these things are growers, they are stre they are they, they just spread all over the place and um, hopefully you'll get several pumpkin uh, per, uh, several fruits per plant that way. But uh, even if it's in a public park and you're there, uh, you're planting only on the fringes, nothing out in the open, folks. Uh, you know, not only kids and not only vandals and, and, uh, and, and, and animals and whatnot, but get on the fringes to where they have a chance to grow. Okay, and they'll get a little bit of shade. Uh, we're talking beans also, those are great spreaders. Uh, beans, squash, pumpkin, um, I would recommend also um, uh, several fruits, like if you're in the right place, like uh, um, passion fruit is good. Uh, whatever you can get seeds for, an easy thing to get seeds for, uh, for example, is tomatoes. Uh, you buy good quality, go to your organic markets, go to your farmer's markets and get tomatoes and just chop right into those. Get the seeds off of those, uh, rinse them out a little bit, dry them again in the sun, and you can plant uh, tomatoes wherever you want to go, okay? Um, but start out organic as much as you can, okay? Not a, you can, maybe you don't have access to organic every time, but do the best you can with this. Get the best quality you can. Now, here's a tip. If you go out into your market and you're getting the food you normally eat and you find out that they won't seed, you're not getting any fruits out of the seeds that you've been eating, you're being fed poison food, folks. Don't eat that food. If you have any leeway on that at all, go to a different market, find different sources of food. This is what is partly kind of been going on all along here is the food you're eating is not delivering the nutrients that you need in your body. You want to get as organic as possible and then grab those seeds at least just one time to get the seeding thing going, all right? Then you've got an organic farm coming up. Now, you can go ahead and take the courses that you find around the internet. Um, if you can find them in your local library, great. There's another free resource. Don't forget the libraries. They haven't quite died yet, but there's plenty of resource in those as well. It makes no sense to me that if you've got access to any kind of land, I'm standing here in Pokhara, Nepal, and we are very fortunate, very blessed to be here right now. We've got no cases of virus. We're surrounded by lots of virus, but right in here we're fine. So I feel very free to, to be able to give you these messages, and the internet is kind of shit here, but we're going to try to upload as best that we can and give you these messages as we go along, and this is going to be a series. This is the intro of the series, so you meet me and get the first initial ideas, okay? So I'm not going to take up much more of your time. That's just something to start out with, all right? We'll get into more details, and please get a hold of me. Um, um, if there's anything, I will leave you with any kind of a, a contact information there. Use it and if you have any questions, but save the questions for the uh, upcoming uh, videos in this series, okay? And good luck out there. Don't freak out too much. Hey, look, here's another tip for you. Turn off your bloody TV. Turn off your bloody radio. Don't listen to the news. Don't let them freak you out, okay? It's bad. We know it's bad. Stop right there. You know all you need to know. Now it's time to take charge. Now it's time to do something, okay? Something positive. It's exercise. It's getting out in the fresh air. That's what they're telling you. Get exercise. Move your body. Use your body. Get strong. Get in the sunshine. Get the sun on your face, on your body. And breathe that fresh air. Get out of your little cubby holes that you're hiding into right now. And get outside and move and do this stuff, okay? Okay, now I'm done. And uh, we'll see you next video. Again, my name is M. Pleasure to meet you.